uh, now I'll show you the last thing that is how you can delete an environment. So let's uh, suppose I have many environment, right? Let me deactivate from here. And if I list all the environments I've created, conda env list. So these are the environments that I created in this particular video. Now, how to delete this environment? It's actually very easy. You have to use conda remove conda remove minus n. Uh, you have to pass the name of the a package, for example, Python ML, and you have to give a flag as minus ALL and press enter. And it will ask for your prompt. Just give yes, you want to delete. And it will be removed. Now, if I clear my screen and I again ch uh, check conda env list, that package is not present. What was the name of the package? Python ML. Only Python ML is not present. So now you want to delete Python 3.10. It's very simple. Conda remove minus n python 3.10 minus minus all yes do remove and it removed and if i clear the screen and i can show conda env list you can see that particular environment is not present. So like if we have many environments that like it's, it's running down maybe 10, 12 environments, you don't use that environment. So just keep that requirements.file with you. Okay, just keep this file with you. Generate this file. I have shown you how to generate this file. Just generate this file and keep this file with you instead of keeping the environment if you're not using for a long time. Maybe you have worked on a project for one year before. You created the environment at a time. Now you don't need that. So you just delete that particular environment. You can create this requirement or txt file with you. So this is one of my projects that I have created uh, a long time ago. This environment is not present in my system, but what is present is a requirements or txt file. So I just need this requirement or txt file and I'll get all the libraries back. Okay. So that's it for this video. This video seems longer. So hopefully I'll strip down this video into multiple sections and in the next upcoming video i'm going to show you how you can use venb which is the python's own virtual environment like using that we will be able to create environment so in that case you can avoid conda because conda is like uh it's for specific purpose like people who are towards machine learning data science like it is helpful for them because all the libraries come with them but if you don't want to use conda if you don't want to download that you can use venv which is python's default uh, virtual environment in the upcoming video i'll show you how to work with venv also so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if this video was in informative do press that like button and as always thank you for watching i'm going to see you in an upcoming awesome video